Vertex Pharmaceuticals has been making headlines for the past couple years with their groundbreaking progress in developing a functional cure for type 1 diabetes. Let's dig into an update on VX880 and VX264. Let's start with VX880. This clinical trial uses manufactured insulin-producing beta cells that Vertex has developed thanks to research that started way back in the day with Doug Milton. So those very precious insulin producing beta cells are injected into a patient's vein, along with immunosuppression therapy to protect the cells from your immune system as a person with type one diabetes. Now I know immunosuppression therapy is not ideal and Vertex knows this too. The participants in this trial are people who are struggling to survive with type one. They have severe hypoglycemia and severe hypoglycemia unawareness. Even if you aren't someone who's gonna get in line for VX880, living with type one diabetes, we still want to know how this trial goes because the stem cell derived beta cell product that they are using in this trial is the same product that they're gonna use in VX264. We want those cells to succeed. These are cells that were made in a lab. They do not require any human donor tissue. And that in itself is hugely groundbreaking. There are currently 12 participants in the VX880 trial. The latest update on this trial is that 11 out of those 12 participants have significantly reduced or completely eliminated their need for daily insulin therapy. That means the cells are working. They are producing insulin and managing blood sugar levels. Hey, by the way, I would be so grateful if you like this video and subscribe to this channel. It's so promising that Vertex actually partnered with another company to build an entire manufacturing plant just to keep making those cells. Vertex is not messing around. They clearly intend to mass produce these insulin producing beta cells, their proprietary product. The VX880 trial is going so well that they're actually expanding it and they're looking to recruit another 50 participants. In that next phase of research with 50 participants, they'll administer one dose of VX880 along with immunosuppression therapy to see how many patients can achieve insulin independence. All right, now VX264 is even more exciting for those of us who are just living our regular life with type one, who aren't experiencing severe hypoglycemia. VX264 uses those exact same manufactured beta cells, which we already know from the VX880 trial work really well. But here's the difference. In the VX264 trial, there are no immunosuppressants. Instead, those cells are surgically implanted along with a device that protects the cells from your immune system. It's only been a few months since the first participants in the VX264 trial underwent that surgical implantation with the device and the manufactured beta cells. We're supposed to get another update from Vertex sometime in early 2025. Vertex is also working on developing hypoimmune edited beta cells. Hypoimmune means your immune system wouldn't react to them. That would be really cool. That would be a very big deal. In the meantime, I guess we'll just have to wait for our next update from Vertex in early 2025.